Our muscles are essential to everyday life. They are driven by our motor neurons, which send signals from our spinal cord to our muscles, telling our muscles when to contract. These signals are essential. But what would happen if the motor neuron stopped working? This is what happens in a condition called spinal muscular atrophy, or SMA. SMA is a genetic disease which results from mutated SMN1, survival motor neuron 1, genes located on chromosome 5. These mutated genes are inherited by children from their parents, and in order to be afflicted by the disease, the child must receive a mutated copy of SMN1 from both parents. This means the disease is inherited in a recessive manner. If an individual inherits only one mutated copy, this makes them a carrier. The SMN1 gene is responsible for producing SMN protein, essential to motor neuron health and survival as indicated in the gene's name. This protein then joins others to make the SMN complex. Without the normal SMN1 gene, not enough SMN protein is made, and this leads to degradation of motor neuron health and a loss of communication between the spinal cord and muscles. Since the muscles receive no communication, they do not contract and thus become weak and atrophy. While having mutated SMN1 genes is sufficient to cause SMA, there is a backup gene called SMN2 that also makes SMN protein. This SMN2 gene does not produce enough protein to prevent disease, but its protein production can decrease the disease's severity. This begs the question, since the disease has a genetic cause, is there a way to correct the disease by replacing the mutated gene? This is where Zolgensma comes into play. Zolgensma is a virus vector-based gene therapy marketed by Avexis, a Novartis company that targets the underlying genetic cause of SMA by delivering a functional copy of the SMN gene to produce SMN protein and mitigate the degeneration of motor neurons. The discovery of the drug was not one that came about easily. It was only discovered quite recently gaining drug approval from the FDA in 2019 and Health Canada in 2020. The discovery of Zolgensma was pioneered by Dr. James Wilson. His lab focused on studying methods of gene delivery into cells as they were aware that most nervous system diseases were caused by gene mutations and thus necessitated treatment through gene therapy. Wilson's lab's research led to the eventual discovery of the adeno-associated virus family, AAV, found from a primate line. AAVs are non-enveloped viruses, meaning that they don't have lipid membranes surrounding the viral material and can be made to target specific locations in the body. The AAV9 vector seemed most promising due to its ability to deliver the gene across the blood-brain barrier and into motor neuron cells. Thus, in Zolgensma, the SMN gene along with self-complementary DNA and promoters are packaged inside AAV9 vectors which deliver the drug to motor neuron cells. Once inside the nucleus, the SMN gene is released from the vector in the form of an episome and replaces the native defective SMN1 gene without being integrated into the human genome. From here, the production of SMN protein resumes, mitigating the death of motor neuron cells and maintaining muscle function. The first clinical trial of Zolgens Must Start began in May 2014 with 15 infants under the age of 8 months old who had SMA type 1 and two copies of SMN2. Participants were split into two groups. One group had three infants in it whom all received a low dose of the drug in order to ensure drug safety. The other group, with 12 infants, received the higher or therapeutic dose. All patients, except one in the low dose group, were alive without needing permanent ventilation at 24 months old. Other milestones achieved by the higher dose group were sitting without support, improved motor function, speaking, swallowing, and receiving partial oral feeding. A follow-up study is currently ongoing to evaluate long-term serious adverse events. To date, there have been no long-term adverse effects of the drug. None of the children have regressed in their motor milestones and all are alive and do not need permanent breathing support. For Zolgensma to be effective as it was in clinical trials, it is essential that SMA is detected early through newborn screening and genetic testing. Currently, Zolgensma can only be used on children less than two years of age because the younger the child is, the less irreversible damage has occurred to the nervous system. It would be beneficial if the drug could be given to older children. However, this is difficult because a higher dose would be needed, and this is known to cause more side effects. Therefore, clinical trials with older children are in progress. Other improvements to the drug could include the composition of the drug itself. Given that Zolgensma is delivered using a virus, some patients may have a high level of antibodies against the virus that would exclude them from taking the drug. Possible improvements to this problem could include suppressing the child's immune response and drug delivery with a different virus. Finally, as of 2021, Zolgensma costs $2.91 million. This is a hefty price tag that can be covered or partially covered depending on where you live. However, it presents a significant barrier for many patients. Overall, Zolgensma is a revolutionary therapeutic innovation that has helped save many children around the world. With further research into drug development and patient care, its potential in future medical use is extraordinary.